I feel like I've been on that highway like a million times. I saw this huge Confederate flag waving. What they don't realize is that it's really only motivation for us, is that it's motivation for us to continue being excellent, to continue educating ourselves, to continue loving ourselves. In this organizing work, as much as you recognize my vote, recognize me, recognize my, the presence of my people, don't just want me for my vote, want me here as a working part you know, of this nation. It's obvious to me why there's this misconception that there's apathy within um, the Black community. If we aren't messaging for them and they don't feel that representation there, then can we really expect them to be moved and to be motivated? It's a beautiful day on campus. HBCUs are historically black colleges and universities. They were started back in a time where people of color, specifically black people, were not allowed to be educated, let alone go to a college or university. We were pretty much 99% of the time denied out of predominantly white universities. HBCUs were kind of just a catalyst for black education. For me, it is a tradition. My parents went to the same school that I went to, and that's really one of the main reasons why I chose my university. I went to Johnson C. Smith University. Um, it's a small HBCU in Charlotte, North Carolina. Being around black engineers, being around black journalists was something that was huge for me. You hear things like, you'll never be ready for the real world if you go to an HBCU, but it's never thrown at white students who choose PWIs and nobody ever says like, well, you're not around enough black people. <laughs> it's people genuinely feeling threatened by institutions that make educating black people a priority. You guys can see the, uh, the polling place over there. That's probably one of the busiest polling places uh, in Charlotte. There's a lot of uh, a lot of good organizing that, that that happens around here that has happened that needs to happen. We organized a rally here in Tallahassee, Florida, a couple of months ago, like right before spring break. I and mean, we got over 800 students to march from our university campus to the Capitol to join a mass population of people who just live in Tallahassee to fight gun violence. I did like some part-time organizing it in the spring and now I'm doing it full-time. The work means something because every semester that I stepped foot onto campus I have an opportunity to now educate 5,000 students. I really see myself as a big brother to a lot of the organizers. There were so many times as an activist that I felt flat on my face, messed up, didn't do the right thing, didn't say the right thing. And they can't learn from any of that if I'm not vulnerable enough to be able to be real with them. Is it hard for you as a black man in America, man? We're making it easy by getting educated. And that's the beauty of HBCU organizing is that there's this collective bond. Are y'all ready to get involved in your campus? Yeah! the overall progressive community in America as a whole, keep them honest in how we engage communities of color. We go into communities and we kind of steamroll our way into these communities. We don't leave an infrastructure for people to hang on to after an election is done. And although that may seem like this like basic concept, it's something that a lot of people just don't intentionally think through. We need people in the spaces and in the rooms where decisions are being made that represent the people that are being marginalized. I've got my iPad, all my equipment, my stickers, and got everything and we're ready to go. There's a lot at stake. We have so many different things on the ballot this year. We're still in the pursuit of an America that's just and right for more than just one specific group of people. The work that's being done at HBCUs is reaffirming these students and who they are and not telling them that they're wrong for seeing the BS that 45 is getting us into. As black people coming from an HBCU, we have to set the bar for ourselves because there isn't one set for us. We have to pull together, create our own collective identity, and then go forward and exceed all expectations. HBCUs, that's what they do. They allow us to look at different things and not just be silent about those things. 
So do black women's vote matter? Does it matter? Yes, it, it really matters. Does. It matters. I just had to ask. <laughs> We're definitely going to be smart individuals and think and be a part of the conversation to change what America looks like in maybe five to 10 to 15 to 20 years, not just for us, but for generations that are coming behind us.